the rioting in France Amazing. ever since Sarkozy mm -hmm. won. There have been like hundreds, like 600 cars uh, torched and, and police, like something like 30 police officers injured. I gotta ask you, Professor, why is rioting look like so much fun? <laughs> because it because it, because it is fun. <laughs> I mean, it is. You know, in the in the immediate, you know, it, it's, it's like it's like going to like Cancun or something for a vacation. You know. <laughs> I want to talk about this uh, Arkansas mother who's having her 17th child. She's got the, the greatest thing about this woman. Her name's uh, Michelle Duggar. I got to read you all of the names of her kids. All from one husband. All, all, all from one vagina. <laughs> uh, and one, and one she's only 40 years old, and she started having these kids since she was 21. She's oh, on her boy. 17th one. It's two July 27th. But I got to read you the names. They all begin with J. Oh. John, David, Jessica, Joseph, jo jo Josiah, David. Jeremiah, Jedediah, Jason, James, Justin, Jackson. Um, John David. Okay. And, but my favorite one is Ginger, and it's with a J. J. Now, I don't know. She said, uh, Professor, she says every child is a blessing. Do you agree? No. <laughs> I, I think after like six, it's just a burden. It's, you know. After six? Oh, yeah. But you know, the, you, seven, that's you know. a high number. You look at our that's enemies like right now in, in the radical Islamic countries, they're pumping out the kids. So if they lose that's one in a... That's why Islam is the fastest growing well, religion. Well, I, 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 and if you, you lose something. one in a bombing, hey, that's just one kid. Remember those Barbie bandits in Georgia earlier this year? Well, get a good look at this illegally blonde burglar. Texas police say this pretty perp robbed a damn bank. And they say the thief demanded money and then walked away with the cash. The suspect has blonde hair and blue eyes, was wearing a white cap and a red jacket. I know what you're thinking. Would we have run this story if she was an overweight he? Here's an idea. Why don't you stop thinking altogether? God, I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> it's true, though. You know what? I think that we would have less, uh, cr less laws uh, against crimes if all criminals were attractive. Am I right, Rudy? Well, I've gotten out of a couple of speeding tickets, really? just uh, smiling at officers, so I think it helps. I sometimes. think that's not fair. I'm very homely, I and I <laughs> never get out of a speeding ticket. It doesn't stop you from the flirting. Oftentimes, I'm, I'm arrested for things that I didn't even know I was doing. Like not wearing pants. You in the just park. look like <laughs> Paris Hilton. Yes, exactly. I'm a lot like Paris Hilton. <laughs> well, wearing a vibrator helmet. But uh, Professor task, Professor right? Hill, she th we love this story because she's cute. And isn't that kind Absolutely. of discriminating against ugly bank robbers? Oh, absolutely. I'm all for equal opportunity attention. You know, if Rosie O'Donnell were to rob a bank, I would want her to get equal attention. Yes. The problem here, and it's interesting because what you see is uh, not just with, with bank robbers, but with uh, runaway brides, with, uh, you know, children who are kidnapped who happen to be cute. Yes. You know, if we look at, you know, mm -hmm. all these situations, you get an extraordinary amount of attention paid to these people. Of course, I want to see anyone caught as, as a bank robber, but more importantly, this speaks to the way in which America is obsessed with beauty and particular standards of beauty. Uh, he is absolutely correct. But did you see how cute? that hat was. No, I was just going to say oh, that I, I believe it. everything Professor Hill says because he's extremely attractive. <laughs> <laughs> so your point is even being made in a stronger way by proving it yourself through your own appearance. Isn't that freaking this you out right now? This is why you get arrested, Greg. I know. This is, um, all right, right, right. Again. Hey, we're back. We're 30 minutes into the show. That means it's time for the halftime report with the very blue-eyed Andrew Levy. Hey, Greg. Hi. Uh, let's Can't see. Can't take a compliment, can you? Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I took it. Yeah. Uh, I just put it in my pocket for later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Fort Dix terror plot. Oh, Greg, I agree that it was unsettling to hear that one of the guys was the pizza delivery guy. I thought they were just supposed to have sex with the bored housewife. <laughs> Very confusing I to me. I get that joke. That was funny. I knew, I knew you would. <laughs> oh. uh, Paris Hilton is appealing. No, she's not. <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, I checked that online petition, and yeah, there's like 830 signatures, but if you actually go in the site and look at them, a whole bunch of the people who signed are just using it as sort of a message board to say that she got exactly what she deserved. So I, I'm not even, it's not even a joke, it's actually true. So, like, literally half of them are like, you know, yeah, she deserved it. Mm. Anyway, I just She'll thought make a reality show out of it and become a multimillionaire. Hopefully. Like that has it happened. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> even more. Continue, Andy, okay. with your intelligent Thank summary you. of the show. Uh, Arkansas mom has her 17th kid. I'm told her uterus just checked into promises in Malibu, <laughs> citing exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> see, Texas, Texas Barbie bandit. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> Uh, judge makes criminal wear signs saying I'm a thief. I stole from Walmart. I have a question for the professor. I'm confused. You said making the thief wear the sign was cruel and unusual punishment. Yet you also said that any criminal would choose that over going to jail. Right. 
Well, because jail is jail itself is criminal, you know, what I mean? or rather cruel and unusual punishment. And so people will always take something like that. If you made him hop on one foot and put scalding hot water on his head rather than <laughs> spend a year in jail, he'd do it. But it's still dangerous and problematic. That's but, what I'm saying. But cruel and unusual punishment is unconstitutional. So are you saying jail is unconstitutional? I'm saying the way that people are treated in jail actually is unconstitutional. Yes, many of the conditions in jail. Oh, okay. Look at Oz. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I must interject. Those people in Oz were having a great time. <laughs> they, were having, they were having sex. They were having sex all the time. They worked out. They got coke and heroin whenever they wanted. Somebody tell me yeah. that's not a life. What's anyway. wrong with giving prisoners cruel and unusual punishment? <laughs> That's why they're there, right? <laughs> All right, Andy. Okay. Proceed Look on what me. you've started. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, I love how Harold pointed out that the bad guys in 28 Weeks Later aren't zombies. They're infected. Yet, Bill, I yes. think you called them zombies like 49 times after that by my count. <laughs> I've got zombies on the brain, Andy. Yeah, or somewhere. <laughs> Specialist soup's going to get you in deep trouble now. Mm. Um, actually, just to end up, I have a couple of questions for Harold. Uh, where are Michael and Walt? Yeah, I, I don't know where they are. That's, I don't believe that's you. what I'm wondering I as well. I do not believe you, sir. You don't? <laughs> I'm sincere. You know what? I'm probably not good looking enough, so that's what I'm going to No, no, no. That, that's why I don't, I don't believe anyone that good looking wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? You and got? one last question What the hell is going on? Uh, it, uh, just to, to, in brief, it's a metaphor for being on Law and Order. Uh, no, no, I don't mean that earlier. I didn't mean on the show. I just mean in general. What the hell is going on? I got you. Well, well done. That's all I got. Man. You know, uh, you know what I always wanted to ask. I must be great because you know, in Oz, you were the only guy in a wheelchair, and that like prevented you from getting raped. <laughs> it, it, it did because you don't you didn't get you don't win anything by raping the cripple guy. Exactly. <laughs> you, you don't get any props. You're not a bigger man. You're just kind of like some dude with fetishes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But on, on the other hand, he had to go through the whole series without having sex. Yeah, that's true. And Professor Hill, that's cruel and unusual punishment, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> More violence in the Taiwan legislature. It only happens in Taiwan. Lawmakers. No, no, it doesn't happen. Quiet, Rachel. I'm trying to explain. <laughs> Jeez. But you're wrong, but you're wrong, Greg. Oh, God, please stop the screeching. Somebody get a tranquilizing dart. You got it. Where, where anyway, are you from, China? Anyway, they're, they're, uh, they were arguing it's two different parties. This always happens. And i got to say, wouldn't it be great if it happened here? That's exactly what I was thinking. Wouldn't you love it to yes. see, like, Kennedy and uh, ooh, McCain going at it? Uh, Just, oh, this would make C-SPAN watchable. Exactly, finally. <laughs> my, my theory is that athletes have so much sex that they actually just need an excuse not to have sex. <laughs> and that's just like, oh, I have a game, so I have to actually stop having intercourse right now because the, the what is it, a bell that they ring when the game starts? <laughs> I don't know, they ring a bell. It's and, not boxing. It's not boxing. It's, it's not um, boxing. No, it's I don't not. Know. Don, if your boyfriend was a prof or husband, hmm. if you may be married, um, <laughs> if he had an important game and he didn't want to have sex, would you respect that? Oh, I think, you know, that's what relationships are all about, right, Greg? But there is something to be said for sublimation. That's when great works of art are, I guess, created sometimes and crazy people do crazy things in politics. So I guess there's something to be said for but that's Said, studies have not shown that this is actually holds true. So I don't know. He may be doing it for nothing. Yes, but I like your point that by not having sex, you create great works of art. It hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't helped Bill at all. I was going to say I've been um, undergoing this theory uh, since the show began a couple months ago, and uh, of course it's not by choice. Uh, call me ladies, but uh, yeah, so far so good. I feel like a great artist. I like how you say call, call me ladies. Yeah, ladies, like you, so not like... dudes. Can't emphasize that enough. <laughs> But Jessica Simpson, every day her breasts keep getting larger. I mean, it's like, it's like this natural thing. Anyway, she claims that her large breasts prevented her from a career as a gospel singer because her, her breasts were too distracting to the people watching her sing. And I think this is an injustice. Uh, Don, do you think it's wrong that her breasts would have kept her away from God? I think it's a very, very large injustice. And I think men are just very predictable, of course. What are they focusing on even in church? Her ample bosom, of course. But she is out there displaying it. Lord knows she was, it was, they were out there on display at the Costume Institute that Kate Blanchett was at, and yeah, she's not shy about them. She was describing them as wearing them like a necklace these days, which yes. is that my favorite quote ever. <laughs> let me, let me go quickly to my artwork, because as you know, if regular viewers, I draw the news, and today I decided to draw, because with Harold Perrineau on here, I decided to draw Jessica Simpson as a zombie, <laughs> and you can see she's just devouring, she's devouring the flesh of a crying unicorn.
and Fluffy McNutter is looking on in horror. If you would like to win this beautiful piece of artwork, which you can win, you can write to redeyedfoxnews.com with the name of said artwork. I will judge the name, and if I like it, I will autograph it and send it to you, but uh, it'll never happen because I'm basically lazy, depressed, and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's true confession. That's true. All right, quickly, Kirsten Dunst. Uh, they enlarged her breasts for Spider Man. Good thing, bad thing, Don? A neutral thing. I mean, sex sells. I mean, who are we kidding here? So if they padded her assets a little bit and she flaunted them for Spider Man 3, it certainly reflected it in the box office. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I just think, think that I think big breasts are. Um, a distraction in movies. A distraction? <laughs> a distraction. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want to concentrate on the plot. You wanted to focus more on Venom than her breasts? Yeah. You're such a purist, uh, Okay, okay, we got to go. We got to move. <laughs>